Wow, wow, I'm blinded by, by the light. Yeah, he's coming. Dr. Joe. Oh, uh, <laughs> right, 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 say Pope Junior. <laughs> Rose, do we want to reconvene the meeting? Yeah, okay. How do you want me to handle this? We haven't uh, gotten the, the uh, sponsors and seconds on this. Okay. Should I use the order? Should I use the order from the floor? From the first three? Yeah. Sure. sure. Is that all right? Okay. Are you going to gavel me? Oh, sure. <laughs> Ms. Roby, can we please start and reconvene the meeting? Thank you. Okay, we're going to reconvene the meeting from last night. And starting with council file number 15936, official ordinance number 35 of 2015, an ordinance fixing the tax rate for all city purposes for the fiscal year 2016, beginning on January 1st, 2016, and ending on December 31st, 2016. Section 1, that a tax rate for general government purposes for the fiscal year beginning on January 1st, 2016 and ending December 31st, 2016 is hereby fixed and levied at the rate of 11.65 mills upon each dollar assessed valuation of real estate taxable for city purposes in the city of Erie during the year 2016 or upon each $100 of assessed valuation of real estate for tax purposes in the city of Erie. Section 2, that said levy for debt service <coughs> proposes of the City of Erie for the 20, year 2016 is enacted at a rate of $4,553,308. This amount will be transferred from the general fund to the debt service fund. Discussion? Any discussion with any member of council for uh, item 1 for the, uh, the tax rate? Seeing none, we want to go with a vote. Okay, roll call. Sponsored by Mr. Brennan and seconded by Mr. Mursky, the council file ordinance bill number 15936 and now known as official file ordinance number 35 2015 be finally passed by the city council. Mrs. Francunso, Mr. Jones, Mr. Kwiatkowski, Mr. Mursky, Mr. Winarski, Mr. Witherspoon, Mr. Brennan. City Council passed official file ordinance number 36 2015 finally by A7, nay zero. Council file 15 937, official ordinance number 36 2015. An ordinance of the City of Erie, County of Erie, and Commonwealth of Pennsylvania adopting the general fund and certain other budgets for the fiscal year beginning January 1st, 2016 and ending December 31st, 2016. Section 1, that the following financial program is hereby adopted for the year 2016 and the appropriations are made in the general fund and other fund accounts. Section 2, the sum of $72,134,730 is hereby appropriated to the general fund and the total budget, including other fund budgets, total $123,264,799 is more fully described in supporting detail. Any discussion? Yes, I'd like to, um, before uh, we may have any discussion, I'd like to make an amendment. To, uh, to this, uh, to the budget item. Um, I have a copy here, Rose, if I can give you a copy of this. Then I can read it out loud and you can have it right there. Okay. But the proposed amendment is to um, uh, 
The proposed preliminary budget re re reallocation with the goal of enhancing public safety efforts and address crime and poverty in neighborhoods. The actual proposal is to reallocate $177,705 from various accounts as noted below in the, in the, uh, the uh, sheet here that I have. Um, to a new community service account to be named public safety. Public safety could possibly include investment in neighborhood organization initiatives, walking or bike patrols, security guards, security cameras, or implementing other creative anti-violence initiatives. Do we have a second? Mr. Brennan, I'll second. Yes. Discussion? Any discussion from anyone, Council? Uh, Mr. Brennan, we just got this. Um, and just as doing some quick math, 36% of your proposed cuts come from my public, well, public works we're on the liaison. I did call public works, and they're very concerned that they can't absorb uh, that much $65,000 in cuts. Mr. President? Yes, Mr. Winarski. Once again, we did get some new numbers since we did last night, and uh, I did make a few phone calls myself. Uh, some of the things that were getting the cuts were maintenance in our own vehicles, our own buildings that the city owns. I, I find that being tough to cut something like that not knowing where we're going to be at this coming year. Where I feel we need to go further with this is maybe at our finance meetings to see what our final numbers are at the end of this fiscal year and see if these departments met their numbers, met their budgets or not, and see if possibly we can change something during the 2016 year for the following budget. Um, but at this point, to get these numbers at this time, these are, these are kind of numbers we need to study throughout the year. We, it isn't something we can get in 24 hours and see if we agree with them or disagree with them. It makes it tough to agree with them within 24 hours. So with that being said, I, I have it hard to uh, change any reallocation of any funds at this time. Thank you. Uh, to, to address, I get the, the main point of uh, uh, going through this, so I guess my uh, uh, reasoning is that this, uh, uh, the budget for operations has increased uh, $400,000 from 2014. It's a 7% increase. So I guess my idea is that to try to tighten our belts and be as efficient as possible. Because um, really the problem here is that our expenditures are increasing much more rapidly uh, than our revenues. So, uh, you know, and it re really our revenues are flat and some, some years they're, they've declined. So I guess I'm proposing to reallocate funds and uh, change the budget to try to give the, the, uh, the city some opportunity to be creative in certain areas. And really, at the end of the year, uh, we have all the transfers. I know a lot of uh, changes occur at that time, but the idea is I've looked at the numbers in the budget, and I, I studied where the, the years they've gone, and there was, was very, a lot of variables in even putting these on paper. But there's been an increase in all of them, and there's still an increase in the numbers I've, I've shown. So it wasn't uh, arbitrary. It was trying to look at the numbers, look at the history, and see where we can cut to try to uh, bring some dollars forward to, to, to try to look at the pressing issues. And really, as I... As I noted in the, uh, uh, the, uh, what I'm proposing here, it's not just trying to get uh, police more overtime. It's trying to be creative and see what we can do with other initiatives and try to get money into our neighborhoods somehow. Uh, there's, there's all kinds of creativity out there and different um, anti-violence initiatives. So I guess that's, that's the point of us trying to take, uh, take a little bit out of each area, tighten the belts in kind of each, each area. Each area is still increasing, but it was really not, it wasn't arbitrary whatsoever. It was looking at each, each budget item and seeing where those numbers went over the years. But this year with the, with the big jump, that was what really inspired me. It wasn't uh, like I uh, would have come up with this this summer because and, and, I didn't know the budget till, till just uh, two, two weeks ago when everybody else received it. So the idea of, so is that big jump is really what stood out to me and that's why I made this uh, proposal. Any other discussion? 
Council. Mr. President, yes. I guess the, the, the frustrating thing for me is last night after the meeting, we got a, a, a new proposal. Then just before we came out here, we got another new proposal. And there's very little time to digest what's going on. And I think the frustrating thing for me is most municipalities would be envious to have a balanced budget with no tax increase, no fee increase, and no cuts in service. And here we are wrangling over things that, you know, basically at the end of the day look like we're doing something when our own chief is coming out and saying he is, he made his budget and he's satisfied with his budget and just like the president listens to his generals, I feel like we should listen to our chief. Um, I spoke with my liaisons. My, my frustration with this is that because it's changed so much, it's just not well planned out, and we have to work together. And I, my bureau chief said nobody contacted him. It was just the cuts. And then when I added the cuts up, we're up to, I mean, I, this is just rough math real here, 56% from public works. Um, public works does a lot of the meat and potatoes of this city and so um, and not that they wouldn't be able to do their job but there's a reason that the money was put in there and so I, I think that without even speaking to public works and just cutting 60 percent of the, the lion's share of this money is coming from from them I just don't think it was planned out and I, and I think we need to really work together and that's where we, we do these things during budget sessions Paul did come to us in October and ask us you know what what did we want and what do we need and nobody said anything and so um, it, that's just you know that's the frustrating thing for me is we just got this walking in here well, the um, uh, the uh, item with the um, uh, the numbers, uh, the, I know that I made the change, but the, I, I looked at the, the numbers and I uh, just had got the feeling just from to talking to a couple of members that we weren't going to really uh, have support for the jobs program. So I put the, I re revised it to show that to that change. So I apologize for that. That was definitely something that was at the last moment. But the I did talk to the chief also. I do understand that the chief says that they're fine. But this could be used for other other uh, other uh, organizations in our city. Like if we wanted to work with the Erie Downtown Partnership, if we wanted to work with the uh, NRO, if we want to work with other organizations, it could be a fund. And that's why I was making a an, a community service fund so it could be used into community service account. So it'd be a public safety account that we could redistribute in different ways. So it wasn't just for the police. So that's uh, just to address that one one item. Mr. Brennan, the um, nature of your proposal, you're looking at this to create some seed money for more like public safety initiatives. Is that what you're thinking? Yes. yes. And I, I think that um, I understand what, what, um, what everyone's saying about their concern, but the idea of having a new initiative or a new program that could be kicked off with this seed money in 2016, I think it's a great idea. I think it'd be one thing if he was rolling, if you were recommending to roll back um, below last year's budget, but you're not, you're rolling back any increases that came between the 15 and 16 budget. So I, I just think this is a, um, interesting proposal to provide an opportunity to do more to make the citizens safer. And we, we can't, we can't ignore the fact that people are saying that there's increased, you know, people are feeling feeling uncomfortable coming downtown or increase in gun tr crimes and all kinds of things that maybe some of this could be used to address. Thank you. Um, Mr. President, I, yes, um, Mr. Jones. My, my, I guess I share the concerns that everyone else has about the lateness of but also understand that we get the budget when we get it, and then you have a certain amount of time to digest it and a certain amount of time to be thoughtful after, um, you know, our budget sessions to be kind of to, like, do your own deliberation, do our own follow-up. So I think on a certain level, the, the system is faulty. Uh, I know I'm not, it's not, not going to have a big rhetoric thing about it, but I think on a certain hand, to make any kind of substantial change, uh, the, the system is faulty. Although uh, we work very closely with the finance department all year, we still don't always know the nuances of what the budget for the next year is going to be. And that's just, it is what it is. Uh, so I, I do applaud your effort. Um, I, 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 
I think the difficulty is, again, the lateness of the hour and last-minute changes and maybe could have been some more communication with department heads, those types of things. So I get it. Um, but I, I think what you did was kind of spark for me anyway um, some interest in maybe the general fund. Our 2016 general budget is not the place to look, but we definitely have a CDBG budget that's coming up pretty soon as well that has has drawn – some controversy, but maybe rightfully so, on how we can maybe look at reallocating some things, uh, maybe that kind of a fund, that kind of an account, looking at some things through the CDBG budget might, that might be a little bit more palatable by the majority of council. So uh, I, I say that to say, you know, I wouldn't discard this. I get the point and I agree with the point. Um, and finally, I do agree with, like, this is what we're supposed to do. On a certain hand, like, this is what we're supposed to do. And it's not... Uh, it's not a bad thing, right? Uh, I just think that the nature of how we have it set up, it's difficult to bring something of, of substance uh, to a budget session when we get the budget and then we start deliberating. You know, anyway, I don't want to get too long with, with it about, long-winded, excuse me, about it. But I think that we should really make some effort to look at this, the upcoming CDBG budget. Um, and I think there's probably a place that we kind of really let breeze through a lot of times that we don't look at uh, in a very deliberate way. So as liaison, hopefully again next year, we'll see, um, I would definitely want to look at the, the CDBG budget a lot more closely and see if we can do something along these lines out of that budget. Just the comments uh, that I want to share. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. John. Any other comments or comments on the other session? Only one thing, Mr. President, I know Bob mentioned to Paul, he came to us in October, November. Is there anything we want? Well, it's not like if we want, we're going to get. It's like any ideas we may have that we can see if we can fit it into this budget and maybe come up with some type of funding f by from one way or another. So I just want everybody to understand when, when Paul says, is there anything you want, it isn't just, hey, I need $200,000 that I'd like to possibly stick in public safety. And, you know, it's, it's something like, you know, you, we put the idea out there and then Paul sees if there's possibly money in some areas that we can allocate for that project or that idea, you know, so just so everybody understands that. Any other comments? Call for the question. Okay, this is an amendment to council file number 15937 and official ordinance number 36 2015, sponsored by Mr. Brennan and seconded by Mrs. Haran Kunso. Uh, the amendment is to reallocate $177,705 from various accounts, as noted below, to a new community service account to be named Public Safety. Public Safety could possibly include investment in neighborhood organization initiatives, walking or bike patrols, security guards, security cameras, or implementing other creative anti-violence initiatives. Mrs. Rancunso, Mr. Jones. No. Mr. Kwiatkowski? Mr. Mirsky? No. Mr. Winarski? No. Mr. Witherspoon? No. Mr. Brennan? All right, this motion fails to, to adopt four to three. Shall we now vote on the? We will now vote on the budget. Do you vote on the budget as presented? Yes, the, the amendment failed, so we vote on the budget as presented. Okay. Roll call by Mr. Brennan and seconded by Mr. Mirsky. That council file, Bill number 15937, and now known as official file ordinance number 36 2015, be finally passed by the City Council. Mrs. Rancunso, Mr. Jones, Mr. Kwiatkowski. Mr. Mursky, Mr. Winarski, Mr. Witherspoon, Mr. Brennan. City Council passed official file ordinance number 
2015 finally by yeas, seven nays, zero. Well, that concludes our meeting. That will conclude the meeting. Meeting is City Council adjourns at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Can I say I need them? Oh, yeah. I got stuck with them. Mr. Brennan, Mr. Rancunso, <laughs> Mr. Jones, Mr. Kowski, Mr. Mersky, Mr. Lenarski, Mr. 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 Mr.